hello friends in this video we are going to see a diameter how to calculate a diameter when maximum power transfer is occurring through a nozzle and we will see a equation related with area ratio also so let's go to the video <music> Let's start with the derivation as this is a tank having a mouthpiece and a nozzle as shown in figure. This is energy associated with it. We will consider datum as capital H. Here we are going to solve a equation to find the diameter of nozzle in a special condition that is maximum power is get transferred. If I talk about maximum power transfer then it is very clear that this head loss, head loss due to friction we denote it as symbol hf is equal to this capital h this capital h divided by 3 we also studied the derivation for the same so we can have total h total energy associated at section 1 will be equal to total energy at section 2 so at section 1 total energy is capital h at section 2 total energy is this small hf plus v square upon 2g where this is small v small v is velocity through the nozzle so we will have our equation as capital h is equal to hf multiplied by 3 so we will have this equation as 3 into hf is equal to hf plus v square upon 2g this 3 this hf will come on the other side become negative so it will become 2 hf is equal to this small v square upon 2g we know that this head loss is loss due to friction in the pipe which can be calculated by using a formula fl v square upon 2gd so we can put the equation here as 2 into F into L into this capital V square upon 2 into D into G which is equal to small v square upon 2G. Now we have obtained an equation this equation in terms of two unknowns one is capital V and another is small v. But for simplicity, we can convert it into one unknown by using a continuity equation. So by continuity equation, we have this Q is equal to small a into small v that is equal to capital A into this capital V. So we can write capital V is equal to small a into small v divided by capital A. We are going to substitute this term in this equation to convert this capital V into the small v. We are going to remove this term as it is not necessary. So we will have equation as 2FL small a square small v square divided by 2DG into this is capital A square introduced that is equal to small v square upon 2g. We can have ratio of areas capital A square upon small a square as these two terms are going on another side these remaining terms are coming on opposite side. So we will have equation as this 2 2 gets 
cancelled. So capital A square upon small a square will become 2FL upon capital D. So we can use a formula to calculate area ratio as 2FL upon D under root of because this a upon small a becomes under root of 2FL upon D. By using this formula we can calculate the area ratios. Now we will find this capital a square upon small a square is equal to 2 fl upon this capital D. As we all know capital A is nothing but the pi by 4 into this capital D square. Small a is nothing but the pi by 4 into small d square. So equating these terms we will have this d will get multiplied this pi by 4 actually this is square so this is square this is square pi, pi, pi by 4 will get cancelled so capital D into capital D raised to power 4 this become capital D to the power 5 upon small d to the power 4 is equal to 2f L. So we will have formula as capital D to the power 4 upon small d to the power 4 equal to 2FL upon capital D. Either we can use this equation or I either we can use this equation. If I want to calculate small d that is diameter of pipe small d that will be equal to capital D to the power 4 all these terms will go on opposite side so capital D to the power 5 divided by 2 F L and if I want to calculate capital D small d then it is the fourth power okay so this is the required term that we have obtained so small dia that is nozzle dia that is equal to capital D to the power 5 divided by 2 FL this whole thing raised to power 1 by 4 fourth root that's all thank you